Good evening guys. So in this video we'll talk about uh, one of the very uh, greatest feature in Excel uh, which can help us in order to track the changes made by your team or maybe whosoever is going to share. So I received this question from one of my subscribers uh, Tridep Singh and he has given uh, he has written this email to me and on opening this uh, Excel file this is what exactly I see. So I hope he's watching this video and uh, so he says that he wants to track the changes. Uh, if somebody has done some changes in the sheet, uh, whether they are the correct or the incorrect, uh, we should have something, you know, robust system in the Excel, which can actually al uh, allow us to see all those changes. So, uh, so uh, Tridip, uh, what you can do is you can even um, record a VBA, you know, you can make a program actually, we can, uh, which you can actually uh, check that on, you know, on every change, uh, we can actually keep a record uh, in the Excel, uh, you know of course we can keep another sheet where all the records will be changed but however if you're not a VBA programmer then you can even use the Excel uh, feature which is uh, uh, which is available here go to the review uh, tab now remember that uh, now this file can't be tracked because somebody has emailed you I'm assuming and he has done some incorrection he has done some uh, changes and uh, those changes as you are saying that they are actually incorrect and you want to and you know he has emailed you this uh, file so obviously uh, he has saved all the things and now he is going to send you the file so you will not be able to uh, retrieve those uh, changes right but for the future what you can do is uh, you can make a use of this uh, you know track changes tab uh, under this review tab go to this track changes and highlight changes click on this option and trust me guys this is a very good option you can uh, on this option track changes while editing and you see that you have the highlight changes on screen right so you can press it ok and now this action will save the workbook do you want to continue yes I want to continue right now this is uh, a saved file so whosoever is going to work on this file and is going to change anything in this excel sheet that will be actually uh, you know recorded that will be saved in the form of comments uh, let me just show you for example if somebody is going to change the gender male you see that Excel is going to generate a comment for you from now ABC is a username and uh, that's my uh, machine name and date the time when I'm recording this video uh, because I have just actually I just saw your email and uh, it's saying you know everything the date time the username and uh, changed cell C6 from female to male now not only this even if I'm going to write something here like 415 you see that this is cell H6 from blank to 450 and you really can't have the option to delete these comments if you see this right so somebody if deliberately trying to delete it and let's say if he's going to delete this delete the entire column then you see that I'm getting here this you know dark line which means that if I'm going to say uh, you know hover my this cursor on this border line I see that deleted column H so it is a fantastic actually feature you know given by the Excel for the especially for the people who doesn't know the programming right so I'm just going to undo it control Z so this is how uh, you can track the entire system right so now user let's say save this copy I have saved this control s right or maybe I can use this file I can, I can save it now let's say I did these changes and now I'm going to send this file to you right now you receive this file and you say that this 450 and this sta uh, gender status is wrong right so what was the previous entry over there obviously you know that the comments are there so you can view the comments as well uh, but maybe uh, if you want to prepare a kind of a report uh, basis these changes apart from seeing the comments then we have the option here uh, you go to the track changes and go to the highlight changes and click here list changes on a new work uh, worksheet click OK and now what will happen is a new sheet by the name of the history will be created here right and now you see that the date time and who did that like I did that so that's my you know machine name username ABC cell change on which sheet and what was the cell address C6 and what was the new value and what was the what is the new value and what was the old value so we have 
you know changed blank to the 450 so it says new value is 450 right so this is a good option you can make a use of it uh, now couple of things which you need to uh, remember that if you now once you see this and if you think that you can delete this sheet now you see that you don't have the delete option here so you really can't delete this and if you go to the sheet one and you see that you really can't even delete the sheet one now this is really you know um, very weird actually you know uh, for somebody who is doing it for the first time because you have not protected the sheet so why these options are not coming so actually Excel is what it is doing is it is taking it is you know when you on this option track changes it has actually uh, converted this uh, you know a standalone application the work this Excel file this sheet on the you know shared mode so you need to click here shared mode and you need to uncheck this and click OK save yes and now what you can do is you see that that file is automatically removed and you can even now go and delete this file as well right so this is how you can actually track the changes now there is one more thing which you can do just in case if you don't like these comments which were appearing there uh, you can do one more thing uh, just go to this highlight changes and click here and then guys what you need to do is uh, just uncheck this option right everything so we don't want to see this any changes on the screen in the form of comments so I'll simply say ok this action will save the workbook do you want to continue yes I want to continue now let's say I'm going to write a 55 and I'm going to change this to female you see that I'm not getting the comments here so uh, somebody who is working on this sheet he will not be able to uh, you know see those comments so whatever the things he has done let's say he has entered some numbers here 100 101 and here he has uh, Robert is changed to let's say Robert and uh, Coley right so now before I track the changes before I track these changes highlight changes please ensure that your file should be saved first so I'm going to save the file otherwise it is not going to give me the changes now I'll go to the track changes and I'll say highlight changes right now what I want is uh, instead of this highlight I'll say that list changes on new sheet after saving this file right remember now I press OK uh, no changes were found with the specific property to highlight all changes uncheck the when who and where option alright so I beg your pardon we forgot to do one thing if you want this to be on the new sheet you have to uncheck everything right list changes on a new sheet press ok now you see that a new sheet with the name of the history is created so you can you know very well see that what changes this person with the username ABC has done So now the blank cell is filled with the 55 a male was changed to female and this is this was the address right and you see the last change which we did we changed Robert to Robert Coley and the cell was A3 and the sheet address is again is given that is sheet 1 you come back to this sheet now the only difference between this option and the last option which we did is we don't see the comments now right so this is how uh, the things are and now uh, I'm going to share this workbook I'm going to off this and the moment I do that I press OK and the history sheet is going to be removed from here right so this is how you can work on these things now there is one more thing which I want to uh, share with you with you guys that if you want the old data now suppose somebody has uh, sent you this file but before he you know send this file to you you have to ensure that when you send this uh, you know template to him or her you have to on this option right only then your changes will be saved now we know that if I do this highlight changes and if I say track and if I'm going to uncheck this then changes will not be appeared in the comments but this time what I want is let it be you know we want to see now let's say ok so save the changes now the changes are saved let's say we are going to change this value to 44 now the comment will be visible to you you can see from here and similarly I can do 
55 I can do 99 so I can change a lot of stuff here right and let's say I'm going to change this female and I'm going to write here let's say Andy right so we have all the comments here now when when somebody is going to uh, now I, I'm saving this file so I save this file and I send this file to you now you open this file maybe not necessarily maybe you can go to you know that person specific workstation and you can open this uh, file there and now how you gonna track the changes except or uh, you know uh, not accepting it right that's that is also we have this option available so go to the accept reject changes the moment you do that press ok now you see at one by one it is going to tell you all the changes so first changes in the G7 which is highlighted I haven't highlighted it this is something you know Excel has highlighted for me now if I have to accept it I can accept it or maybe I can reject it if I reject it you see that 55 is back I'm back to that 55 now here it is saying that H3 from 100 is changed to 55 do you want to accept that yeah I want to accept so perfect next thing I want to accept yes I want to accept now it goes to the female so do I need to accept this uh, if I say no I don't want to reject it so you see that this is now back you know uh, to previous status which is male do I want to save this Andy no this is a wrong name so I'll say reject so I'll get this Michael so this is how you can actually you know even accept and reject the changes and one thing more uh, if you do this step and you when you press ok now there are no more changes accept or reject so I have to record this again let's say I say 55 and I say 66 and I say 77 88 now all the changes are saved now if I go to the track changes and accept reject you see that this action will now save the workbook so first you need to save it if you're not going to save it Excel will save it for you right so press ok now if you want to reject all the changes in one step just do reject all and if you want to do it reject uh, accept all it is going to accept all the changes if you want to do go step by step then as I showed earlier uh, just a few minutes back uh, maybe a few seconds back that you need to click on accept reject one by one right so I'm going to reject all the changes are you sure you want to reject the remaining four changes without reviewing them so what else you want from Excel <laughs> right is giving you you know such a good help is is telling you you haven't even reviewed it and it's even telling the number of the changes right so I wasn't aware about this option for that it can even give you the number so thanks to your question uh, today I have also learned a new thing so press ok and you know the things are you can't see anything everything is now you know to the original position right so uh, this is how uh, now once it is over you can click on the shift uh, sorry share workbook and you can make it ok and then you can save this and now you will be back on your original screen where you can now go ahead and you can even delete the sheets and now whenever you write something this will not be tracked right so just to summarize uh, we have two things one is you can make the comments visible and the second option instead of co making the comments visible you can create a history right another sheet and and what you do is you simply go and click here highlight option track and if you don't want the comments just uncheck this and now just press ok now when you press ok this is going to save and if I do any changes in this I don't see the comment but that does not mean it is you know not recorded it is actually saved record is saved now now in order to see the effect if I if you directly go to this highlight changes and now if you do this list changes and you you know uh, press ok Excel will say only changes which have been saved can be listed so what does that mean that means that w when you did this you know change in the gender female to male first you have to save this file so I'm going to save this file Control S is the shortcut and now I'll go to the track changes highlight changes and now this time what I do is list changes on the new sheet and press OK right so one thing more uh, which we forgot to do last time as well you actually don't have to select any cell option over here when you want this to be in the another sheet in the history sheet right so press OK now and this is the history sheet which is going to be created for you go through this sheet copy this sheet and take it to some another sheet and now go back and 
now if you want to do some work on this you can't do it like you can't you know delete this uh, sheet and uh, so there is no tab color as well available and uh, moreover if you want to delete this you can't delete this so if you want to do that you can go to the share and you can uncheck this option press ok and save this and now the history will be deleted as you can see I don't have that history sheet available with me and here now I can delete rename or I can give whatever tab color I want to give right so this is how you can track it I hope you like this video so watch out for the rest of the 107 videos as well which are uploaded so far on the Excel VBA and MS Access and uh, keep writing me in and uh, keep asking your questions I'll definitely go ahead and you know uh, keep uploading the videos for you guys thank you so much and if you haven't subscribed yet just subscribe to my channel and just uh, thank you so much so do subscribe and have a happy learning bye bye